Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We got ourselves another build right here. Hopefully, potentially future shop truck. That's what we're trying to do. We had the 2020 Silverado, the new white baby diesel, and it just wasn't big enough. So we got ourselves a little bigger 3500 GMC Denali. Denali. It's pretty sweet. Definitely a, a nice one. And let's go ahead and look at the bad, look at the good, and see what we got ourselves into and what we got to replace. All right, so this is the good side right here. We got one good wheel. There it is, already lifted. Got aftermarket suspension on it, so that's pretty I don't, sweet. I don't think so. You know I, it's lifted? I don't think so. After looking at it, uh, it all looks stock. Really? It might have a key, to be like I lift it a little bit, but I think the 3500s already come lifted. It's pretty high, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty, it's pretty tall. I'm telling you, look, stock control arm, stock spindle. Maybe the keys are lifted just for like an inch, two inches, and it's got these uh, really ugly wheels. I mean, somebody liked it, it's not crazy, so. But this fender's looking good. We got a little scratch right here. We're not gonna worry about that, yeah. right? Still gonna shop truck. So nice doors. This side, this side's pretty sweet. Look at that. It's got a scratch on the bottom. Oh, sweet. Especially it's raining right now. It's good oh, scary. black. Looking really good. Another good wheel. Yeah. But look at that. Oh, look. It's got. So it's a 3500. It's got the extra leaf spring. So we can tow mode. Tow a lot more now. Yeah. It's like if we get like a two car trailer or something like that, it'd be nice to be able to pull a little more. Look at that exhaust though, that's huge. That's Definitely. huge. That's, that mean it's, uh, might be deleted or? Probably. Yeah, Probably. We'll check out the engine too in a second, but. but. Look at that, why does it have a dent right here? Always, they always have dents right here. We're gonna have to like, uh, maybe pump it out. Pump it out, yeah, it'd be fine. Be fine, but let's look inside the bed. Let's look at, what, rhino lining. It's got a grill already in there. Nice size bed. It's got a fifth wheel, a gooseneck. Attachment in the middle right there. So that's sweet, already done, that we don't have to do ourselves. Awesome. Because our trailers parts. are goosenecks, right? Some of them. Yeah. Some of them. The big ones, yeah, for sure. You look more professional with a gooseneck, right? You do. So it's got the auxiliary thing already done. It's got a Harley Davidson sign in the back. Not even bad. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. The back looks pretty good. Nice big single pitch. Denali, you know. Backup, backup camera. There's backup camera. Do we have a camera? Yeah. It's better. Right there. Right there, yeah. Sierra. So that's pretty exciting. And this side. The bed, is, the bed looks good, you know. What happened to the rim? We're gonna need some wheels. I mean, it looks like it's a aluminum tin can. Just fold it right over. Yeah, we can't tow like that, so. But this side, I mean, looking pretty good. A lot of little scratches, but not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. So you're telling me there's a lot of good on this truck, Michael, right? So far, so good. A lot of not, we don't have to swap a frame. We don't have to take off a bed. We don't yeah. have to do axles, I mean. Aren't you excited? It'd be a quick, quick build. Yeah, for sure. This thing's loaded. It to be I mean, no, work-wise, we don't have work to do wise. that much work. That's the part. Time so, is money. So far. So far. But let's get to the bad. Let's talk about the bad. All right, guys, the rain picked up a little bit, but man, let's talk about the bad real quick and get this thing inside because it's starting to come down again. Man, rain is good and all, but obviously you can tell from bumper damage right there. Hopefully no frame damage. I don't think so. Either, right? I mean, it did say undercarriage damage. So hopefully it didn't get too much in there. But we, we drove some, it off a trailer. Yeah, so. we got some coolers right here. Grill's definitely busted. We'll so, we'll nothing bumper. bad. I mean, the hood looks good. The headlights looks good. The bumper. I mean, nothing we can't fix. Check in the hood. Ugh. Wow. Nice. Got some fancy blue little thing over there. So it's already deleted, right? That's a... No, that's just like an up pipe. Up pipe? Yeah, because all the depth, all this stuff's plugged in. So I don't know if it's deleted or not. Well, maybe it's Is not it plugged, plugged in? in all the way. <laughs> it looks like it's plugged in, just in case. But that'd be nice to bypass the deaf system. I mean, I don't know your state rules. South Carolina's chill about, I don't know. No, Let's they're see. not. Do this is how we got it. That's <laughs> how we got it. So um, yeah, this should not be the big of a deal. Get a new grill, get a new bumper. We're not gonna fix the fenders and the scratches on it. It's gonna be fine. Get some wheels and we're good to go. But get some wheels. The inside, we got a little airbag damage. A lot of airbag damage. A little bit. Let's check, check it out. out. All right, so right away you could tell Driver wheel is deployed and our dash is deployed. That'll probably be the biggest headache. But it looks like curtain airbags are good. Seat belts are deployed too. Yeah, yeah, I already took them off. I just, I was excited. Let's get it. Because those you can get rebuilt, takes a little bit, but we got that taken care of. Um, well, look at that Denali. Look how clean this Denali is. nice. Got a sunroof, because we always use a sunroof. I mean, heated seats, cooled seats. You have like literally all the options. That's all crazy. The options. All the buttons are there, you know? Sometimes you have like two and then the other ones are. Well, our last bike. Silverado, it didn't have that many options. It didn't have all the options, but like, I don't know, we'll see. Exhaust brakes, wow. I mean, we're, we're expecting to do some uh, big hauling, right? Pretty sweet, yeah. Remote start. One key? One key. Oh, man. That's fine. This yeah. is mine, not yours. 
four by four. But how many miles are on this thing? A lot. Uh, what is it? 197, almost, almost 180. 180,000. That means the oil change is good to go. Yeah, this thing's definitely broken in, you know, but it's still got at least 100,000 miles left. Is there I mean, one? for what we're going to use it for. And then the price of these are still up there. Like, we got a good deal on this one. If we can flip it, it still makes some money. Yeah. So, with these miles. That's crazy, guys. They're definitely high end. I mean, it's nice. Definitely. A lot I mean, of check it out. Here. Super clean, you know. Now we pretty sweet but let's go ahead and get this thing inside try to get it started and take it apart i guess yeah we're gonna take the front bumper off because we ordered the bumper it should yep. be here we ordered the grill that's already here airbags are already here so michael's gonna knock out the airbags i'm gonna knock out the body work we'll see who gets done first i got a dash a da this, look, you got this, easy work this one should be easy but that one a little, little longer it's gonna take a little longer but you get to join us in this journey so we're gonna you knock go. this thing out really oh, yeah. quick and then go for road trip yeah let's easy get to, to it Alrighty, got a couple jump boxes on there. Oh yeah, that sounds healthy. Very nice. Let's get it inside. Cool. And turn white. Ha. That's pretty cool, Adam. Turns white and yellow. Professional. Nice. Pretty sweet. Got little lights on top. HIDs. Not bad. Got it inside. Alright guys, got it inside. Definitely need some batteries. That thing was dead. Hard to start. But let's go ahead and get this bumper off. Take off some other parts. And probably get some wheels. Because it's definitely hard to drive with that going on. <laughs> A little bumpy road, but we'll make it run and drive, take off the bad, see what it looks like underneath. All right, so the little Grill support is broken. We'll get that replaced as well. Taking the bumper off. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Not so bad. I think our transmission cooler is still okay because we drove in here, so that's nice. But we'll get that replaced. Some other little pieces. Let's keep taking apart before we build up. wasn't too bad kind of came off this one was a little bent so I had to kind of pry it to get it but there it is a little plastic piece broken here a little plastic piece broken there so I'll have to unbolt this thing get that off but I'll worry about that later no big deal there's the old bumper looks bad but now it doesn't look that bad at all let's go ahead and start tackling that dash oh yeah so this is what I want to replace. Obviously that is deployed. Unfortunately, it's one giant solid piece. So I got to take all that apart, but I'm going to go pro demand, see exactly what I have to take off. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully if not, I'm going to struggle, cry a little bit, but you can't quit. That's all. And keep going. We'll get it. Just bolting and bolting. No big deal. Let's go check it out inside. All right. Inside the office, going to do some research, how to take this thing apart. Man, it looks like you got to take it all apart. Literally everything oh boy lots of steps lots of clips lots of little bolts it's gonna be a puzzle to completely get this off that's the idea but i got me some snacks gonna do some research figure it out watch a little youtube video and get it done all right guys had me a coffee a little bagel and now i'm ready to go at it Feeling good. All I gotta do is just take it all apart, completely everything. Just, yeah, from the steering wheel to the center console to the, just everything. I'm gonna start unbolting, unclipping, and 
Get into that airbag. All right, all right, guys, going right at it. So I'm just gonna take a little video so I know what's happening here. Yeah, so brown, purple, more computers, just taking it all apart, you know, just whatever. All that has to come out, one piece at a time. Right, all right, there's definitely a lot of computers and modules and little things going on, but it is coming apart. I don't know if I need to take all that apart, but I did. But yeah, a little wiggle test and looks like I'm getting there. Nice. Looks like I still got a couple wires here and there. But it is coming apart, guys. All right, guys, that was fairly simple. Not too bad, honestly. Probably took apart a little more than I had to, but yeah, it was all kind of intertwined. So there we go. But it's always easier to take things apart than it is putting them back together, that's for sure. I mean, we drove this truck in here. Hopefully we drive it out better than it was before. That'll be great. Looks like my connector's still okay. That's important. Um, Yeah, not too bad. All I gotta do now is get the new dash installed and put it all back together. Definitely pretty crazy looking without the dash and everything like that, but no big deal. Out with the old and in with the new. And here we go, guys, just like that. Dash is replaced, really wasn't too bad. Just plug and play. It's really nice when it's not like completely twisted and exploded and you know, it's all just plugs right back where it's supposed to go. Just be careful, take your time, plug it all in, done. So it just looks a little more intimidating than anything, but not bad to replace it. I would way rather do a GMC, big old truck, so much space, everything's nice, except compared to that Porsche, which everything was so compact and tight and small, this is way easier. Time to take out these old wheels and tires. Buddy of ours, thanks Nick, gave us some other tires and wheels. So we got some nice big hefty wheels, cool. I look good. Let's swap it out. Make sure this thing still drives. All right, guys, just for perspective, I want to show you basically this wheel is just, you know, sitting on there. I lifted it up by the rear axle. It's touching the ground, just kind of like slid right there. So less carrying, you know, but I picked it up from the middle, this side. Look how much of a clearance it has on the floor. So we're going that much higher than that side. Dang. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna lift it up that much because of the tire. Wheels are looking good, happy about that. Inside's looking good as well. Basically got the seatbelts installed, good to go. So hopefully that's gonna Get rid of our airbag light because we've got the dash replaced, the wheel airbag, and now the seatbelts. Got ourselves some new batteries. Close to $500 for some batteries. Great. So hopefully that will work. So like I said, we're going to keep this truck. And last thing we want is a dead diesel. Let's go ahead and get these installed and turn it on, scan it, clear all the codes, and hopefully everything goes away. All right, guys, with this battery nice and easy, no big deal, pop right in. But that side, that was definitely a pain. Got to remove the bar, move stuff around, kind of struggled, but no big deal. Now we got power. Let's get the scan tool to start it. Hopefully clear all the codes and hopefully everything works to the dash. Moment of truth. Let's find out. Starts right up. And... All right, guys, there we go. No more lights in the dash, no airbag light, no check engine light. I was able to scan it, clear everything. Lost communication with some kind of line bus instrument. Okay, but overall my buttons are working, things are lighting up. Sweet. That's awesome. So far so good. I actually got my TPMS sensor too, so I'm gonna try to program my TPMS sensors for the wheels. Might as well. Awesome. There we go, got my buttons working and horns working. Woohoo! 
Got my new plastic pieces for the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it all apart and swap those out and we put it all back together. So I had to actually dig in a little deeper, take out that front radiator support piece. This one's broken right there as well, but that's okay. I have a new one, so I'll swap that out, make sure everything else is good, and keep going. And then I'll be able to put in the big piece, because it actually bolts on the back, so there's no way I'll be able to get to these bolts from the inside. So I've just got to take it apart, sandwich it together, put that unit back together, and get it going. Wasn't broken too bad, but definitely a couple pieces. But there's the old one. There's the new one. Good to go. Oh, and that's more bolts right there, that's for sure. Let's do it. All right, so Michael got the front bumper off. He's working on it. I got the my bumper and I got the grill ready, so let's go ahead and get this thing painted. So here's the bumper we got. It's very primered. We sanded it down, we wiped it down, tack clothed it. Also, the grill, we're gonna paint the outside black and leave the inside chrome. It's gonna be, cause I'm not a big fan of too much chrome. So let's go ahead and mix up the clear, I mean, no, the paint, the base. Put about two to three coats on this. And then we got two coats of clear. So let's get knocked down. go so pretty much came in this morning got sanding sanded down the primer it's looking good got these fairings all sanded down so we are gonna paint this thing black so we're gonna black out this truck but it's like black with a little bit of blue pearls or blue metallics but mostly black but when the Sun hits it it's gonna look good so let's go ahead and mix up the paint get all of this stuff painted and then tomorrow we can assemble so let's get straight to painting old bumper and here is the new bumper I actually had to hand drill those sensor holes basically the bumper there I didn't have any front sensors and I kind of really want it because it's like why not it's a Denali so pretty sweet got that drilled out and installing with the wire harness with the sensors in get it on there and give this thing a bath looking good so I ordered another transmission cooler right there but it's gonna take like a week to come in no big deal, it's still driving, not leaking. It does look like it got dinged a little bit, so we'll replace it, but not right now, no big deal. Let's get that bumper on and get it done. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace these brackets for the bumper mount, just in case the old ones got bent a little bit, because that definitely took a little impact. This one, you can see it is going down slightly. So we'll swap that out and we'll put on the new bumper and hopefully the alignment will be good and the fitment and all that good stuff. Hopefully.
All right, guys, what a beautiful truck. There it is, all washed up and looking good. Let's go ahead and talk about the price and how much it cost us to get it looking like that. All right, all right. So let's just go over exactly what this is before we talk about the price. 2015 GMC Sierra, 3,500 Denali. It's got the 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine diesel in it, four by four. I mean, fully loaded, 175,000 miles, kind of high, but for a diesel, no big deal. Okay, so we picked it up from Copart after fees, everything like that for $12,683. Shipping was $240, so almost 13 grand, just bringing it home wrecked. Bumper, we were able to find one in Florida for $500, and then there's a bunch of other little necessities. <laughs> but at the end of the day, after all the little pieces, it came out to be almost $16,000 for us, so about three grand in parts. All right, guys, that's about it. That's a wrap for this build. So hopefully it'll be a great shop truck. We'll try it out, see how it goes. We still have to cut that bumper, probably the rear to get that clearance for the tire. You know, work out little kinks here and there. No big deal. That's part of it. But thanks for watching. Leave some comments down below if you got a good deal, bad deal, and if this is a good idea for a shop truck. Thanks, guys. See you next time.